So last week I brought you a story that claimed Sony was working on a PS4 4K model that would be a more powerful console and offer, as the name implies, 4K capability. So I wanted to kind of give you an update on what's going on. There has been a lot of new developments that are, are fairly big. Uh, so it turns out that this isn't just some conspiracy theory. Apparently the PS4 4K is real. It was confirmed by Kotaku through multiple sources. Uh, last week Eurogamer also came out and said they have now uh, independently verified through their sources. They've talked to devs who have prototypes in hand. This week, the Wall Street Journal published a story saying that they had verified that it was indeed true and that it was also set to release right before the PSVR hit store shelves, which uh, PSVR is coming in October. But you've got Sony who sold 40 million PS4s and, you know, they still seem to be selling. So the question arises, why would they bring out a brand new model that's different from the current one? I mean, we're used to seeing slim versions and slightly modified, you know, looking versions of consoles, but usually the insides say fairly similar. Um, but this, from all accounts, seems to be an upgraded machine that can play games better than your current model. Um, so part of it, I'm sure, is probably due to, to the, the VR because VR requires a lot of power and it's the one area where Sony is at a huge disadvantage when you compare it to the other mainstream VR sets and you compare it to a PC rig. Uh, and also, by bringing out a new model, I mean, they're trying to offer up something new to kickstart more sales. More people might keep on buying it, but it's going to keep on getting less and less. I mean, you've kind of hit that peak now, so uh, your your big hardcore base already has their consoles. Um, so you can't sell them another regular PS4, so you got to entice them with something new uh, that you would want to buy or possibly upgrade. And again, Microsoft is actually the ones who were talking about this first, so this is something that the industry appears to be moving towards. Just like how you get new TVs, new GPUs every year, new phones uh, that you can upgrade, consoles look to be introducing something new to keep from just staying static for 7 to 10 years while technology continues to advance. And again, you know, it's all going to be optional. But before everybody starts thinking that PS4 4K is going to play 4K games, you might want to kind of lower your expectations just a bit. Because from all the talk that's been floating around, it appears that this is mainly a 4K media player with 4K Blu-ray player and 4K capability to play like movies and things like that. And what's more likely as far as the games are concerned is that you're probably going to have more power for games, so games should run smoother. Hopefully, you'll finally get to where all games are at least 60 frames per second. Uh, hopefully, all games will at least be 1080p. And so what will probably happen is that you'll, you'll get a situation kind of like the Xbox One where Xbox One upgrades everything to be sure that it's in 1080p. You could have the PlayStation 4 uh, upscale it to where it's in 4K. It's not native 4K, it just upscales. Um, again, just like the Xbox upscales to 1080. Every insider and expert that I've read on this subject says it's just not reasonable to think that Sony is going to come out with a console that people can afford that's going to play games native at 4K resolution. It would just cost way too much. Even if you uh, get 4K capability on a PC right now, it takes a super expensive rig in order to play newer games on the highest settings at 4K and keep a decent frame rate. So it might want to you know, make some people want to upgrade, uh, but if you don't have a 4K though, that's probably going to take a huge you know, incentive for you to upgrade and throw it out the window. Uh, most people probably aren't going to care. Um, I, I would personally care, again, more about games hitting 60 frames per second than anything. I, I don't even have a 4K TV, so for me, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But uh, just today, Sony announced that it's launching a 4K streaming service next week where you can buy like movies for $30, which I think is ridiculous. But of course, if you got money to blow and you want to be sure that you got the best looking movie there is, I guess $30 doesn't mean a whole lot to you. Um, so again, this sounds like the PS4 4K might be primarily for the VR and the media side of it. Uh, games should benefit. Uh, I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. But if you start making it you know, too different, then that's going to cause issues with development and possibly lower the quality 
on your current installation base. So would you be interested in a 4K PS4? What would it take for you to want to upgrade or, or to want one? Stay tuned to videogamesandnews.com for the latest developments. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh.